Hey everybody, I'm Connor and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to go straight into the video as as I may have mentioned in my uh, Nick Cage collection uh, review video that I did uh, quite a while ago um, I believe I did mention in that video anyway that Nick Cage is absolutely my favourite actor out there I think he has some absolutely amazing performances and he's just a brilliant actor overall, in my opinion anyway. And as a result of this, um, I'm actually trying to, or hoping to try and collect as many of his uh, films as possible on DVD and just have this huge sprawling collection of all of the Nick Cage films that I can get my hands on. And so, uh, to go along with this, I'm trying to review each of them for you so maybe you can also just see some um, films that you're not um, kind of used to or you didn't expect or if you also like Nick Cage and haven't seen some of these films then you'll maybe enjoy this as well. So let's get straight into the review and I'm going to go ahead and start with something that um, I really really enjoyed and it's this Matchstick Men. And um, going into the majority of these films, I actually don't have any idea of what they're about or I've not looked into them at all, um, apart from, you know, some of them I know about or the ones that I've seen that he's in or like the bigger ones like The Rock or Face Off or, you know, some of the more successful and popular films that Nick Cage is in, but Matchstick Men was a very very pleasant surprise it is a crime kind of thriller drama film about um, Nick Cage's character Roy who is essentially a con man with his partner Frank and they have various business concepts that they set up and they just go around scamming different people and conning them over trying to get the most money out of each deal that they possibly can you know setting something up um, which is illegal and then going in there and saying that they're the police and that they're gonna have to do this thing or trying to get um, you know double crossing people like speak to them over the phone and then going to their door to get money as well it's um, just all about that whole idea that they're con men trying to get the best money and best life for themselves that they possibly can However, to go along with this, Nick Cage's character is uh, also like mentally unstable at points and he has a medication that he has to take that is prescribed and a big part of the narrative of this film is that he goes to try and speak to a therapist and um, it's initially to get more medication to help him but then he starts going to this person for help and this really plays into the narrative a lot, as you'll see, because I don't want to spoil anything, as I usually don't with my reviews, but the narrative of this has a very, very good twist ending, as throughout the whole film, you're kind of buying into his character and how he's, you know, he's separated from his wife, he finds out that he has a daughter that he starts and being around and she starts living with him and uh, trying to be interested in what his job is but he's trying to keep it a secret that kind of thing but there's a huge twist e twist ending as well which is very interesting it completely threw me off guard and it is just a very nice um, addition to the story because the film is very stripped back it's very minimal there's not and you know huge chase scenes or explosions or CGI all in your face or anything like that it's just a very minimal and stripped back um, film, filler film and yeah there's not a huge amount of characters either it's just um, all your investment is goes into Nick Cage's character Roy um, so yeah I think the good points about the film it has an excellent narrative to follow and the character progression is very well thought out um, you're definitely invested in the characters and also 
uh, some of the set pieces are very nice. I won't tell you some of the uh, like bigger, more important ones or you know interesting ones that are later in the story. But for example, at the home that Nick Cage lives in, uh, he has a like dog that kind of just sits in one room, but he takes the head off of it, and that's where he puts all of his money after a big job with his partner. And it's just you know all the little things uh, in his life that really make up some excellent sets even though the budget um, is pretty obvious that just didn't have a lot to work with. Uh, some negative points about the film, I think some of the acting could have been a bit better. You know Nick Cage is definitely the biggest star there and there's not like a huge amount of other big name actors or actresses. So some of the more minor roles or side characters, kind of uh, villainous characters, I guess, because um, there's no uh, kind of dead straight villain throughout the film. So some of the more side characters could have had a bit more um, elevated acting or a bit better choices, but generally there are very good um, performances, particularly by Nick Cage and he really pulls off his character well, especially in situations where he's like desperate for his medication um, in the pharmacy or when he's like going crazy um, with his daughter because his daughter's um, not been like behaving or uh, she's been like out missing and he's been worried about her. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a mixed bag of performances but if you can overlook that and you focus on the story and the overall um, like arc of characters then it is very interesting, it's very intriguing I would definitely recommend this. On a whole I would rate the film a 7 out of 10 or I guess we can uh, call it Nick Cage's so, so I'll rate it 7 Nick Cage's out of 10 and yeah it's definitely one of his um, better films uh, it's definitely up there with his other performances, like on a level performance with something like Face Off, and it's very high quality indeed. The story is excellent. Some of the other um, actors around him could have been a bit better, but overall, it is an excellent film. I definitely recommend going and seeing it if you haven't already, buying it on DVD like myself. And yeah, stay tuned for the next Nick Cage um, movie review or instalment to this little series that I'm going to start doing. And I will see you in the next video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for that and like my Facebook page in order to stay up to date on social media.